All right, guys, we're back. <laughs> um, I got John with me today, uh, but I've been here. okay, whatever. We're <laughs> we're going over hostels from Pennsylvania to Maine. We already covered Georgia to West Virginia, and now we're on Pennsylvania to Maine. Um, first place we stopped in Pennsylvania. We stayed at uh, in Carlisle at the Quality Inn. Um, we did a 26 mile day, 26? Yeah, to get there. Um, and basically the only reason why we stopped in Carlisle was because Photos had taken a zero there and we were trying to catch up with them. But Carlisle is about 0 .3, 0 .4 off trail. So you can just walk right into Carlisle and uh, get you a room at the Quality Inn. Um, it was it was a good place to stay. I don't remember anything really specific about it. Uh, do you? No, we ate at the gas station. The gas station had a diner. Was it? Like a Denny's. Yeah, there, there was a uh, a truck stop there. Right. So it was a truck stop gas station. There was like a Denny's or something inside, so you could eat, you could eat there. Then the gas gas station portion of it had plenty of honey buns. Yeah, that would be your resupply. Would be the gas station. Yeah. There was no the grocery store was way too far away. You you couldn't buy alcohol there for whatever reason. Yeah, you couldn't buy alcohol. I don't know what that was about. Um. Next place we stayed was Duncannon, Pennsylvania. And in Duncannon, you basically just walk right through Duncannon. That's the trail leads you right through there. And we stayed at Christ Lutheran Church. Uh, we stayed in the basement. And it was one of the best places that oh, yeah. we stayed on trail. Um, it's a donation-based place, um, but they have... Uh, like I said, they let you stay in the basement. They let you sleep on the floor. Um, they have like a kitchen area. There's a shower. Um, it w the air conditioning was on point. It was so hot that day and just like going down there and being able to sleep in like really cold, cold air was just so awesome. Uh, Duncannon, there's lots of different places to eat there. Um, there's a laundromat. Um, the grocery store is a little far out of the way. Oh yeah, it was god awful. Yeah, we walked quite a ways with our packs on just to get to the grocery store. So there is a gas station that's closer, like more in town. So I guess you could resupply there. But um, we went to the grocery store. Side note, the rocks, the rocks did not start after Duncan. Okay. I heard that many times that the rocks started at after Dunn Cannon. And that was not true. The rocks didn't start until like the very end of Pennsylvania. Port Clinton, probably. No, the rocks, rocks started like coming into the little water gap. It was like from that steep climb. I don't know what he's talking. That was in, that was almost New Jersey. Okay, next. It wasn't until the very end. Next, the Delaware Water Gap. Pennsylvania, we stayed at the Church of the Mountain Hiker Center. God awful. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. So this is also a donation-based place. Um, unfortunately, they do not have any air conditioning. Um, so the room, I mean, it's a cool little hangout area. Yeah, you know, they have is. like a living room and a place for people to lounge and charge up your stuff. And then they have a bunk room, and we were sleep. We slept on the top bunks because those are the only ones left. And John and I, in the middle of the night, got up and just grabbed all of our stuff and went on the floor in the living room because it was so much cooler in there. We actually like slept until nine o'clock, I think. <laughs> it was really late because we didn't sleep at all, and then finally we fell asleep. Um, I don't think it was nine o'clock, but it, slept in compared to it photos. Was, it was really late. Um, I think, I don't know if they have laundry there. I'm, I think that they do. Um, we didn't wash our clothes there, so I, I can't really tell you. Um, it wasn't the, that bad. It was just really, really hot. Really hot, night. yeah. Um, but the shower was really nice. Um, water pressure was great. But Delaware Water Gap has a lot of, um, has a lot of different places to eat. 
uh, resupply. Oh, there's a, there's a dessert place there that's got like tons of pies and everything else you can think of. That was yeah, a really cool spot. Yeah, that was really good. It's a hot dog. I wish I could have hung out there longer. Yeah, that spot was golden. Yeah. Um, resupply, I think there's just a gas station. There's a Walmart a few miles away, but I think you have to get a hitch or whatever. Um, Delaware Water Gap, you don't have to hitch to because you walk straight through, straight through it. So it's a good place to stop. Um, next place that we stayed was in Falls Village, Connecticut, and we stayed at Bearded Woods Hostel. Um, we were originally going to stay at the Toy Makers, which is basically like this eclectic shop and they served food and the people there were amazing. So if you ever um, go through there, stop at Toy Makers, it's uh, only like maybe 0.2 or 0.3 off trail, um, but they have really good food. The people are so nice. Um, and they also let you tent in their backyard. So that was our plan. We were just gonna tent in the backyard, but photos had gotten a bunk at the Bearded Woods Hostel and it just so happened that he had decided to get off trail the following day. So we went to Bearded Woods Hostel and it is one of our top three places on the trail that we stayed. What was that guy's name? I can't remember his name. But the guy, um, it's a it's a husband and wife. They run they run it, and um, he's through hiked, um, and it was it was one of the cleanest places. It was very clean, very clean place. Um, you stay in the basement. The living room area was really cool, like leather couches and stuff. It's really nice. Um, All like he made everything himself. Yeah, he made it. He made everything oh, himself. Maybe not a couch, but like <laughs> the, the beds, the and bunks. Like, yeah, the bunks, and then the whole downstairs. He, he built the whole bathroom area. Yeah, everything on there it was really cool. So it's actually it's really small, and it's intended to be that way because they don't want a whole bunch of people there each night. So I think the max that they can hold is maybe like ten or twelve. Yeah. Um. But there are only bunk rooms. There's no private rooms there. But it was fine because it was just John, me, and photos. Um, the bathroom, there's two showers, which is really nice. Um, and then in the morning, they make you breakfast. And there was enough breakfast at the end that he, like, packed out uh, sandwiches for us. Uh, the cost was $50. Um, they do have to shuttle you from the trail to their hostel. Um, so that's included, uh, breakfast is included, laundry, they do your laundry, and obviously a place to sleep. So it was a really awesome place. I would definitely suggest staying there. Um, you do, you do need to make a reservation because he has really specific times of when he will stop picking people up from trail. So just pay attention to that. Um, that information is in your guidebook. And also... Yeah, he's very strict about the times. He yeah. will not bend. No. It's in Gut Hook and uh, AWOL's Guide, so check it out. All right, next place was in Great Barrington, Massachusetts. We stayed at the Days Inn. Great Barrington, you have to get a hitch into or a shuttle, whatever. Um, we stayed at the Days Inn, like I said. Wi-Fi in Great Barrington sucks. Uh, at any place that you go to we went to a Dunkin Donuts to upload videos and it took forever the hotel Wi-Fi really was horrible um, just all around not a good place to upload videos if you're vlogging um, they have a grocery store it's the first like right when you get into town it's the first thing on your left um, but the hotel and the downtown area are is further down so um there's places to eat there uh i mean it wasn't a bad place to stop um i don't even remember i don't remember if there was laundry at this day's end because we again we didn't wash our clothes i don't know where when we washed our clothes because i feel like i keep saying we didn't wash our clothes um Next place we stayed was in Bennington, Vermont, and we stayed at the Best Western. Um, 
the best Western, it was good. The only reason we stayed there is because I work for a travel company and we had a really good discount at this particular hotel. So we stayed there. You have to get a hitch or a shuttle or a Uber to get into um, Bennington. Uh, there's a Walmart grocery store right behind the Best Western. The Best Western had laundry. Um, they had good Wi-Fi. Uh, they had, there was this burger place like right across the street. It was like, an ice cream place. It was really yeah. good burgers though. Yeah. Did we even get ice cream? We didn't. Mm -hmm. No, we didn't. We were so full from all the hamburgers that we ate. But it was a good place to stay. But I would have definitely passed up Bennington to stay in Manchester. Manchester is like your next big town. So skip Bennington and go to Manchester. Um, Manchester, you do have to hitch there, but it's for us it was super, super easy to hitch into. And they love hikers there. Everybody was super friendly. Um, most hiker towns, people are very friendly, but in this particular town, they are over the top friendly. Like they'll ask you if you need something, like they want to give you rides even if you don't need rides. Uh, there's like tons of places to eat. There's um, grocery stores. There's lots of convenience stores. Everything's walkable. I've heard there's a really fantastic hostel there. Um, so I would definitely recommend stopping in Manchester and passing on Bennington. You loved Manchester, right? Yeah, it was nice. It was super nice. I, I want to live there, but John won't. He, he crushes my dreams all the time. <laughs> um, next place we stayed was uh, Killington, Vermont. We stayed at the Inn at Long Trail. Uh, this is about a 0.5 mile hike off trail. And the inn was pretty cool. It had a restaurant inside. Uh, it was, I think McGuire's was the name of it. It had pretty good food. Um, it's called the inn at the Long Trail. Inn at Long Trail, but the restaurant inside, um, I think, um, was called McGuire's. Um, it wasn't very expensive. Uh, that I can remember. Um, they have laundry there, but we didn't do our laundry again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we did our laundry in Bennington. Um, there's a bus, like a transit system, that runs right by the inn, and it'll take you into Rutland, which is just a few miles away. Um, and then in Rutland, there's a Walmart, and there's, there's restaurants in there. Um, there as well but so we took the transit system into Rutland and went to Walmart uh, Rutland is where the yellow deli is located um, but we kind of wanted to avoid the bubble uh, and I also heard at the yellow deli they separate men and women um, so since we're a couple obviously it's not really what we want to do um, but yeah so I really liked the inn at Long Trail, didn't you? Yeah, I thought, nice. it, thought it was cool. Oh, they have really good breakfast too. Thought the breakfast was good, but that cost extra. Did it? Yeah. Thought it was included. John thinks it's included. It was included. We just tipped. It was included. We just tipped. I just tipped. Yeah, he just tipped. All right, next place. Hanover, New Hampshire. So, the trail goes right through Hanover. Would I recommend staying in Hanover? No, <laughs> because everything's gonna be super duper expensive. Um, it's a college town. So yeah, you probably don't wanna stay there. So we stayed in a nearby town. We stayed at the Fairfield Inn. I know some other hikers that stayed at the Hampton Inn in the same town that we were in. I cannot remember the name of the town. For the life of me, I can't because we had our wonderful trail angel. Three Forks? No. No. We had our wonderful trail angel, Steve, came and he picked us up in Hanover and took us to our hotel in at the city, wherever we were. But it was very nearby. It was just like a few miles. Um, Steve was our fourth team member. Yes. Steve was our fourth team member. 
Um, but yeah, so shout I, out Steve. I can't even tell you the name of the town that this place was in. Sorry. Um, next place we stayed was in Lincoln, New Hampshire. We stayed at the Woodstock Inn and Brewery. And I thought it was pretty cool. I mean, there was a lot going on because it is like kind of a touristy town. So there were, there were tons of people there. Um, I thought our room was pretty cute. Um, I don't think that it was actually kind of expensive. I think it was like over a hundred dollars to stay there. Um, but it has a restaurant, a brewery, there's a resupply place, um, just a little ways down the road. Um, there's a laundromat right there. Um, so it was, it was an okay place. It, it is hard to, uh, hitch anywhere out of the White Mountains for some reason. Um, so they do have, there is a shuttle service, but I can't remember how much it was to get a shuttle from those, from that shuttle company. I don't even know what town you're in right now. I'm in Lincoln, New Hampshire. Remember once we got done with Moose Lock or mm -hmm. whatever? No, this was after Moose Lock. Yeah, just after Moose Lock, come down to that gap. And then we went into Lincoln. We stayed at the, what hotel was that? Woodstock Inn Brewery. That was when we came back, we stayed there. First we stayed in Lincoln at the other hotel. Then we came back and then we went across the anyways the so that's where we stayed hitching is not very good it's not your ideal situation there's a lot of tourists around that don't really understand what you're doing um there's a shuttle i would just try hitching if it doesn't work call the shuttle um next place we stayed was the barn in gorham new hampshire we stayed there twice. Um, the first time we stayed there, we actually stayed in the barn. Um, the owner, Paul, he was nice. He drove like a white Cadillac. It was pretty cool, like come pick you up in this white Cadillac. Um, but the, there were some bad things about it. It wasn't too expensive, but it was so hot in there. <laughs> It was ungodly hot. Um, yeah, it's just the time that we came through. Right, yeah. the time we were through, it was just it was just hot all around. So upstairs in the barn, he has a bunch of beds, and um, it, there's not bunks; they're like legit beds. So they're just all over the place, and you can take whichever bed you want. Um, they have laundry there, but you have to do it yourself. And there's only one washer and dryer which is kind of difficult because that place was packed and to do your laundry, I was in such a rush to just get laundry done that, I mean, I probably skipped a bunch of people and I feel badly about it. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. And there's only one shower and there's only one bathroom and there's a porta potty outside, but that's it. So if you get like, I don't know, maybe 20 hikers in there, that's not a lot of options for people to use the bathroom. So that was kind of frustrating, the whole bathroom situation. Second time we stayed there, we tented, and I liked that a lot more, just because it was cooler, because we slept outside. Um, but there's a gas station right across the street if you need to resupply. They'll shuttle you to Walmart, which is your last Walmart um, if you're going Novo. Um, there's a few restaurants in town. There's an outfitter that's uh, okay, I guess. I got a pair of socks there. Um, we walked all the way down, probably like Felt like almost a mile we walked to the post office and went to McDonald's as well. So there you go. Then the next place we stayed was 
in Andover, Maine, we stayed at Human Nature Hostel. John, why don't you tell them about Human Nature Hostel? That was awesome. One of the best places that we stayed on trail, it's, it was built and owned by Ryan, who was on Naked and Afraid. He was on like several episodes and series. Um, it's a beautiful hostel. They have private rooms and bunks. They have plenty of bathrooms. Um, they have porta potties outside as well. Food is really good. Food is really good. They have outdoor showers. Um, you can get dinner for ten dollars. Uh, breakfast for five. Andover is really small, so there's not a ton of options as far as resupply honestly the resupply sucks really bad um so if there was any place to get a drop box i would suggest andover um but you have to get a hitch or get a shuttle to get to andover mm. and hitching probably would be difficult because i didn't see very many cars at all um but human nature for what we got we stayed there two nights and for what we got, I would say he could charge a lot more. Yeah, it was super nice. It was it was a really nice place. Um, so I would definitely recommend staying there. Five stars. Uh, next place we stayed was in Stratton, Carabasset Valley, and we stayed at the Hostel of Maine. <laughs> uh, again, one of the best places that we stayed on trail. Um, it felt like a hotel. It was it was pretty pricey, but it was like super upscale. Yeah, it was very upscale. Um, it felt like a hotel, like I said, and there, it was just like they did your laundry for you. There was a whole resupply store there. Um, there was a full kitchen, like a huge kitchen. They sold mm. pizzas, ice cream, um, beer. They, they had a full resupply, did you say that? Yeah, they had a full resupply there at the at the hostel. Um, there's an Italian place, like, just a short walk away. Um, I guess there's a couple of gas stations that you could walk to if you wanted to resupply there, but um, I would just say to resupply at the hostel. I would dec definitely recommend taking a zero here at, or there at the hostel of Maine. Um, Hawk talked us into staying two nights. I'm glad that he did because it was phenomenal. Um, I don't know where he's at now. I don't know. I don't know where Hawk is. I'll have to watch his video and find out. He's still out there somewhere smiling away. I know. Loving the trail. Loving the trail life. <laughs> um, Alright. Oh, you do have to shuttle to... A hostel in Maine. They'll come pick you up. Not a big deal. It's not very far away. Um, next place and last place that we stayed was in Munson. We stayed at Shaw's Hostel. You have to shuttle to get there or hitch. Um, Shaw's is your typical hostel. Um, they have laundry there. You have to do it yourself. Uh, the accommodations weren't expensive. Um, they have a, what's cool about Shaw's is they have a, like, an out, an outfitter basically there. They have a full gear store. Yeah. And um, resupply. And resupply. So, it's pretty awesome. We actually bought our Ultras at Shaw's, which, I mean, we couldn't find Ultras anywhere. Are showing those things? Yeah, I think so. We, we couldn't find Ultras anywhere, but we find them at Shaw's. It's crazy. Um... So yeah, we we kind of like went crazy and bought a bunch of stuff. But I could see why I could see why um, Shaw's is a really popular place, especially for Sobos, because that's probably their first stop. That's definitely their first stop. Um, well, not definitely, but their big stop is in Munson, and it was it was good. The breakfast is really good. Oh, yeah. Um, Super good breakfast. Yeah. I think you have to pay extra for that. Um, but, yeah, the owners are really nice. It's, it was a good place to stay. Um, the ATC is there. So, make sure you go by the ATC office to kind of help you plan out your final days. Your summit day. 
yeah, they kind of give you, they give you some pretty they good information. They have a calendar with, like, everybody's names down on what days they plan on summoning. So you can have a better idea of what day you want to summon. Yep. That's that. So I think we've covered pretty much everything now. Good Lord. Look, it's been, what, 25 minutes? Ugh. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's all the hostels and hotels we stayed at. So, guys, I don't know. I bet you're pretty bored right now. Um, but if you have any questions, let us know about these hostels and hotels. I have no answers. Yeah. Stop asking us questions about other stuff. Just stop. No. Oh. <laughs> Don't, you can you ask and ask all the questions you want. <laughs> and direct them at John. <laughs> I don't get them, so. I know, he doesn't get any of the questions. Like, they don't come to him. Like, they go to my, to me. So, I'm the one that answers everything pretty much. And, yeah. So, stop asking questions. I miss getting on there nightly to read comments, though. Gotta say. So, like... Well, I don't know if you guys miss, miss the videos or not, but I miss doing that as my nightly routine. They don't miss the videos. The videos were so bad. We're going to make some videos. They were so depressing. Guys, I'm finally getting some feeling back in my big toe, in case you're wondering. I lost feeling my big toe a long time ago during the hike. How has adapting to the little old been for you? Pretty normal. I adapted the instant I got off trail. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't difficult at all. How has your body It's healed? been hard. It's definitely been hard. My body's healed. I think I'm putting on weight now. <laughs> yeah, me too. That's why I just joined a gym. When was the last time you ate pepperoni? I'm never eating pepperoni again. I had pepperoni on pizza today. Ugh. That's disgusting. My boss bought me a big, huge Snickers. They don't care about what your boss bought you. Anyways, I want to eat it because I'm not <sighs> sick of Snickers yet. As you can see, Amy got all dressed up for you guys for no, the video. No, I didn't. And as I you went... can see, I did my hair. I got oh. I went to work up. today. Well, as you can see, I went to work today too. Even I let the beard grow out a little bit so you guys can recognize me. Sorry, I don't have the hat on. Oh. All right. Bye, guys.